948 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it with the chief scientist, <coughs> Carl Nelson. He's got an egg hunt ready for us <laughs> from the Imagination Station. Exactly. Well, down at the Science Center, we are doing egg stream science, yeah. so all sorts of excellent sort of science. So the next two weeks, all sorts of crazy stuff. Come down and check it out. All right. I brought today for you, though, a challenge. We've got some hard-boiled eggs with no shells. Okay. And the challenge is to get the egg into this milk jug without the inelegant solution of just smashing it in there. Oh, we, well, we can't that would my first impulse. They use a little science here to try to get the egg inside. Now, of course, the egg is a little bit bigger. Yeah. So what I've done is I've taken an egg and put a couple candles in the end. <laughs> All right. Okay? I'm going to have you hold the milk jug, but hold it upside down. There so, and actually, maybe hold it from the top there. Ah. <laughs> I want to be able to kind of see what's going to happen down here with the candles. Now, I'm going to hold the candle just below the opening. Hot air from the candles is going to begin to flow upward think hot air balloon? That's what I was okay. thinking. Yeah. Into the jar, and hot air is actually less dense than room temperature air. So I'm now very carefully just going to snuggle the egg up to the bottom, this let it make a seal. take all the oxygen out. Not so much the oxygen, but the air inside has... <laughs> <laughs> First it expanded, <laughs> then when the flames went away it contracted, okay. <laughs> and then air pressure pushes the egg up inside the jar. Okay. Now, the tricky part here is how do you get the egg out yeah. intact? It's, it's a little bit gross, but so the egg actually behaves like a, a bit of a one-way valve. Okay. Yeah. So I blow air up inside there, or you could try it. No. no? Okay. So <laughs> what you do is you blow air up inside and build up pressure inside the jar. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the egg out, okay? <laughs> kind of gross, okay? Now, <coughs> that's one way to do it. You can heat the air up and let it cool. That's a party trick. It, <laughs> it's all you. Yeah, you well, <laughs> all right. So the one way you can do it is heat the air up and let it cool, or we can just bypass that whole heating step and use something that's very, very cold to condense the air. One of your favorites. Liquid nitrogen, 320 <laughs> degrees below zero. Very, very cold. Tony, I'm going to give you the jar. Sure. Hold it near the top. Okay. Because you're going to gently lower it into the nitrogen. Okay. Just go ahead and... Push it, push it right into the liquid. Here. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. You don't want to get the nitrogen on your hand, but that's a perfect spot right there. What's going to happen now is the nitrogen is going to cause the air inside to cool, take up less volume. Maybe some of that air will actually condense into liquid, <laughs> and the egg should begin to fall down inside. You can see it happening oh right boy. now. Oh We're boy. creating that imbalance in air pressure that is slowly <laughs> allowing, push it down a little bit further, that is slowly causing the egg to be forced into the jar. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> All right, pull it out, pull it out. That magic now, sound. Now, the drawback to this version is we've now frozen the egg to the inside of the jar, so it, oh, yeah. maybe not. Well, eh, kind of. There you go. All right. So these are the kind of fun things we're doing for egg stream science through April 12th. Come down and check it out. We're exploding eggs. We're putting eggs in jars. We're putting cinder blocks on tops of eggs. Anything you can imagine to do with an egg awesome. besides cooking them and eating them. All that and we're dinosaurs, doing. too. Dinosaurs and guitar. Right, and lots, guitars. Lots of cool stuff. There is. All right. Hey, thanks very much, Carl, for coming on down. That is this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it now over to the guys in sports.